All right, guys, so I finally got my exhaust system here. I'm probably going to end up today just removing the old one as well as the headers because I get the headers in tomorrow. Um, here's the bumper. It didn't come out perfect, but it's good enough because I was actually thinking about getting another bumper and a new lip. So, it'll do for now. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm about to do. Is just take everything out. And then start, you know, taking a look at this. I'll probably unbox this. I will unbox this next so y'all can see what's in the box. I hope I get a sticker. I don't know what it is about us car folks, but we like our stickers. Even though I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'll probably put it under the hood. Because there's a bunch of stickers under there. And why not? So yeah. Let's see how good this sounds as well. Like I said. In forums and stuff. People were saying this was the way to go. Better than Skunk 2. And HK is a, is a pretty good. Well known brand. Um, so I'm excited to hear it. With the headers on. I will show y'all what the ones on there look like right now. It's really rusted up and just disgusting. But here it is, y'all. I will show y'all now what's inside. Hi, guys. Alright, so I'm opening this now. Don't mind me. I've, I've been out running errands all day. So we're going to unbox this and see what's in there. I'm super excited. I'm literally gonna cry y'all. This is like an early birthday gift for me, from me, because I was like, you gotta spoil yourself, you know? So, let's see. Let's Super nice. I might end up polishing it to be honest. Oh my. I'm gonna look in here if I have a sticker somewhere. I'm about to be digging in this thing. Guys, so I found the hardware and I did get a sticker. So I'll be putting that under the hood. So we'll see what happens with this install. If it's easy or it's not. It seems easy, but who knows? We'll see what happens. But let me show y'all the one that's on here. Crusty. All right, guys, we got this crusty, dusty, musty out. So the new hitters will go in there. Now we're going to take the exhaust off. So that way we can just pop everything on as soon as I get the headers. We got the old one out. It looks like he went with Magnaflow. Gosh, they're my gloves. <laughs> It is literally crusty, but Dan just told me I should have recorded this whole process. And yeah, I, that was thing, YouTuber. The thing YouTuber. is, I keep forgetting to record the process videos, and I'm getting really bad at that. So I'm going to try to do better next time. <laughs> but we got it all out. So hopefully we install this soon. 
All right, so now we're putting the hanger that we purchased from the junkyard. Yeah, purchased. purchased. And this is the one that actually came on the car. <laughs> yeah. And then, like I said earlier in the video, we uh, purchased some clips and stuff for the side moldings at the junkyard and some bolts as well. So, yeah, ain't nothing like purchasing stuff from the junkyard. They be taxing on that shit. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't paying two dollars for a tiny ass clip. Yeah. Soon I'm gonna get new control arms, new coil overs, camber kit, you name it. Anyways. If you watch the previous, I'm gonna be watching these videos. He's gonna be like, dang, you just changing everything. Well, it was Dookie Flakes. <laughs> it, was, it was what? Dookie Flakes. <laughs> Anyways, with the flakes. Yeah, it was the flakes. I'm gonna grab some dinner after this because we are starving like Marvin. Oh, look at them things. Things ugly. So everything about this car, it it just really needed help overall. I need help, damn. Oh my bad. Let me help him. Hey y'all, since Daniel was telling me. <laughs> <laughs> to record more of the process um uh, this is what we're doing oh. you put that washer on first right yeah you put the washer that's on. not a washer that's a nut where'd it go right there <laughs> oh. you put the washer on the washer right there right there right there and then you put the uh, uh, the, uh, the uh put stick it in there babe it's in there like swimwear but yeah, you put the washer and then you put the the Call it night. the pecan. Okay. You put the pecan on there. Y'all like had the beginning. Dan was telling me I should record more of this, and then when he was just saying I need help, I need help. <laughs> this is this is why I forget to record <laughs> because I'm over here trying to be an assistance and. I end up forgetting. Right, I think I got it. Got it. Tighten them johns up. Yeah, we're tightening johns up. And then we about to go eat at. We about to go take five. I'm about to go take five dudes. Oh, yeah. Pause. The wrong way. Peanut butter jelly. The long way. Right, put, put that uh that wrench on that on that nut. That ain't about you, to fucking work. You're not in there, like swimwear. Do the other side if you can, first. I can't see. Keep going, I'll, I'll tell you where, I'll, I'll put it on there. Yeah, put it on there so I can hold it. I think it's on there. All right, I'm holding. All right, I got an idea. You do that side. And then I'll do this side. Oh, God. This is an awkward position. Hand. Oh. Damn it. Hold it. Well, hold on. Oh, no. Trying to adjust my my adjustable wrench. <laughs> Damn, I'm way off. This is the first tool my dad ever gave me. And how old is it? About as old as he is. Uh, he was like, I was playing Xbox one day. He just walks into my room and he's like, "Here, you gonna need it one day." It's got me out of a pinch a few right. times. Yeah. Crank that bitch tight. I'm cranking. I don't want them exhaust bolts soldier to get the run loose. Crank that soldier boy. <laughs> it's on there. All right, do the other one again. I need you to uh, put it on there because I can't see. Find it. Up, up, up. Right there, right there, right oh, there. I see, I see now. Uh. Put some ass into it. 
Damn. All right, y'all. So this is what it's looking like. It's, it's at a little angle a little bit that way. So it looks nice. Look at that. Sheesh. I'm talking on your baby daddy. He finna lick my booty hole. Nice. This is super nice. We are on to the next day and I got a package in the mail. I got my headers. They're just eBay headers if they're not 1320. <laughs> Here. You don't need it. Mm, you're right. But anyways, take a look. eBay special headers. And let's take this one out the bubble wrap. Oh. All right. And then we have the card. Sorry. So here it is. A little, you know, the headers. <laughs> They're nice, they're nice for eBay. Guys, remember to always put the gasket on there or else we're gonna have a leaking issue. What was your face when you see me open the hitters? Bro, these corn <laughs> balls are my, oh no, I'm just stupid. Hmm. So these. These thread in the heel. Yeah, they thread. Adjustable wrench. The one that his dad gave him. If y'all remember, his dad gave him this tool saying he would need it one day. And it took him out of a few pickles one day. I mean, sometimes. Yeah. Some days. We got it together. Y'all can't see me, but I'm here. Here it is. So if y'all ever, oops. So if y'all ever looking for some headers, y'all get to see what, you know, what it's like with these. I'll probably give an update later on on how they're holding up. I will probably put it in the link in my description because I know some of you are looking for hitters for your Honda and don't know where, what to go with. guys look at that definitely adds a little difference in here because it was because it was looking kind of sad but now it's looking you know pretty cool <laughs> all right guys so here's what the exhaust sounds from the inside of the car we're gonna go under the bridge the exhaust is not awfully loud nor awfully quiet it's just like the perfect sound and it does not sound like a freaking rice bucket which i love right. so let's see how it is oh yeah 
I chirped going in the second. <laughs> it sounded really good. Here's Manchas chilling. We're about to get the video of the EK, how it sounds. Driving on the outside instead of the inside, so.